All right, here we are at 15154 Braywood Trail here in Orlando, Florida, 32824. This is a five bed, three bath, 2,600 square foot home, currently listed at $500,000. Um, really nice neighborhood, it was a very easy drive in. Community's well taken care of. You can see right behind these houses, there's a lake back there. Um, just a really good community. As I drove in, you can see most people take care of their yards. This one has been obviously vacant for almost four months. So the yard needs some upkeep. There's some things inside that need to be done, but the layout is really nice and it's in a very good community. So a lot of positives to it for sure. Here's the right side. Looks like it's got a nice fresh coat of paint on the exterior. Like we just said on the video, it needs some landscaping work here and just clean up. It just looks like someone hasn't been here taking care of it. As we walk in, shut the front door. As we walk in, you can see nice high ceilings. Got the nice bay window. This could be your dining room, formal sitting hangout area but it is a very large front room and you can kind of see straight up you've got the loft over there the stairs right at your entry let me just turn around so you can see just a lot of really good natural light coming in from the front door these tile floors um something about the floors look good you can just see there's a little bit of wear on them zoom in a little bit so they have, this is not LVP, luxury vinyl plank. So the, you do see the wear and tear a little bit. But as you walk straight forward, you've got your kitchen right here. Stove goes here, obviously it's not there. And the refrigerator here. Refrigerator's actually outside on the porch. Got this nice large pantry. Straight down this hallway is the bedroom and bath, laundry and garage. You've got your other living room, the main living room over here, eat-in space over here to the left. And I, here I sit right here at the sink, looking forward, just kind of give you an idea. Again, nice tall ceilings, wood cabinets, tile that runs throughout this side of the house. So we'll go over here. You've got the first floor bathroom, full shower, no tub. Let's say little things, you can see a little crack here in the in the bowl. The grand scheme of things, that's not too hard to deal with. Storage underneath the stairs. Here is that first floor bedroom. Here's your laundry room. Same cabinets out there. Your ADT home security, all that fun stuff. We head out to your two car garage. Another garage fridge out here. There's your HVAC, that is 2006. Looks like a newer water heater, CPVC plumbing. Uh, this little thing right here was added on. You can kind of see it right here is where the wall ended. They put this kind of storage in here. Two car garage. I think the truck would be tough to get in here, but a normal size car, I think you'd be able to fit easily. And obviously getting rid of that would give you more room to pull forward. Before we go upstairs, I'll show you the backyard. And also here's that other additional living space. This is probably more your traditional TV room where you put the big couch, things like that. Nice large windows. This is fully fenced in, except you can see the fence has blown down in one section. 
and just hasn't been cleaned very well. As you can see over here, a quick pressure wash and actually taking care of the yard would do wonders in this area. You see the fence over there. I believe that area, when I was looking at the map, is conservation as well, which is nice. This is in flood zone A. So this home would, re would require flood insurance. Back to that nice large kitchen. We'll head upstairs. Nice wood bull noses here on the stairs. So real quick here, right here at the landing as we go upstairs, you've got this little loft area, two bedrooms, bathroom, master, and the third bedroom. So we'll start up here in this bedroom. Here's your master. And here comes your master bath. Your master closet. There we go. Shower. And then your toilet. Back out of the master, into the loft area. Here's the guest bathroom for the other bedrooms up here. Let's go to the tub upstairs. And the toilet back here, as well as a linen closet. HVAC for the upstairs. And then you've got this room, it's the only room upstairs that has different flooring. Again, the same flooring into this bedroom. And then again, very nice large closet. Both ACs, from what I can tell, are 2006. Um, I've checked the permits on the roof, but the roof does look to be original 2006. I'm getting clarification on that. So those are some items we would definitely need to take into consideration. Uh, with whatever we decided to offer. Coming back into this room, you can kind of see a little bit of wear and tear on the roof just by looking out the window. It's not working, but I can't tell if that's just paint on top of the roof because they did paint recently. So let me know what you think, but plenty of space, really, really good neighborhood.